Rob for sure. Yeah, if he gets a go off Rob from the crowd, then then he's had a great a great set. Hello, yeah, right, dude. Hi, everyone. Thank you guys for for tuning in. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would love to post it to YouTube. It's it's gonna come down. It's gonna be Rob's call, I think. But and that's right, we do have a YouTube channel now. So I'm gonna I'll I'll link that. Just give me one second. Um. I don't think I, the ban impression might be a stream only um, thing uh, a treat for you guys. Uh, he's got his he's got the ban impression. He's got the uh, the Jimmy Fallon impression, obviously. Um, what I wanted to do actually, and I'm gonna quickly try and put something together. Um, maybe not this turn, but the turn after is. I think the problem uh, with like Jesse's gaming levels. He doesn't have a proper gamer name, um, so I'm gonna put together like a little poll. Uh, I'll, I'll post it off to the side here, uh, and you guys can can vote on and add suggestions to uh, what you think Jesse's gaming name should be. Because uh, I was playing some Rocket League this afternoon, and everyone has uh, really cool and uh, badass names. So I think uh, that might be the issue: is, is Jesse just doesn't have one of those. Uh, my gamer name on on Switch is just Stefan. Uh, McDane's that might be that's probably part of the problem. Um, but I, I do truly believe that if he has, I think he'll just get. So maybe it's like a placebo effect. Like he'll get the the confidence um, from having kind of like a badass gamer name. Uh, and yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that the Jesse kind of went off on that Doctor Disrespect guy, and a bunch of his fans got uh, really mad at Jesse, and they were saying like. Uh, yeah, like why would he ever take down his uh, his green screen? That's that's ridiculous. Uh, you know stuff like that, uh, which you guys know is bullshit. You can you can switch your OBS midstream even. Um, so yeah, I uh, I think uh, I'm gonna come up with a, like three or four ideas, and then and we'll have some write-in room, and then um, on the stream tomorrow uh, we we will we will give Jesse a new uh, a new name. So, uh, we have we still have the green screen, uh, ghost like Mike, and we will be bringing it back again. Um, it's just most of the stuff is like on Jesse's end now. That that's when we had producer Paul going. Um, so we're going to try and get a producer back. Um, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure what the big wife news was. Um, I don't know if it was a, a bit or what was going on there. Uh, I briefly watched part of the stream from, uh, Dave and Busters. Um, uh, which Dave and Busters is a lot of fun, by the way. There's, there's games, uh, there's drinks, uh, there's just, just all sorts of, uh, activities. Uh, okay, I'm gonna quickly uh, put something together uh, for you guys to choose. Uh, I've got like I got like three or four ideas uh, for for Jesse's name. Uh, they didn't have the horse racing one. They had a, a beer pong game, uh, which was pretty cool. And they also had uh, the world's biggest Pac-Man game, uh, which which seemed pretty neat. So.
<sighs> Have you guys been to Dave and Buster's before? I, I really did enjoy it. We pooled all our cards together, our points together, and got a uh, a toy helicopter uh, for the office, uh, which I think we broke within like an hour. So. Hmm. So I'll be back in Vancouver on the 21st until like January 3rd and I'll hopefully be able to call in for some of the streams but I know Rob will will be here and uh, and he'll be calling in the Jesse for sure so don't don't worry too much uh, John or Justin could possibly be on the stream because uh, we have to record an episode back in in Vancouver so we might do something there, I might, call, I might call in from a Canucks game, too. Okay. Yeah, Jesse hates Indian food for some reason. Uh, it might, maybe it's just because Nashville doesn't have good Indian food. Okay, I'm going to quickly uh, write uh, some Jesse name possibilities down. I mean, Jesse gets upset about a lot of things like that, so. Okay, I've got some I got some good name ideas here, I think. Yeah, let's get a torque going in the chat. We haven't had a torque going in the chat yet. Oh, sell that's a good one actually. I'm gonna I'll I'll put that one down there.
Yeah, there's some good suggestions in there. Uh, I think you guys will like what I came up with. Uh, you can go, like, how big are the samosas, I think, is the question. Okay, I've got I've got the, the names ready to go. So I'm gonna get those up on the screen right now. Um yeah, you can go like seven or eight of them probably. Yeah, well, I think a forest, uh, a forest twink emote is definitely in the cards. Like I said, we're going to have 13 or 14 slots. Um, and the more subs we get, the more emotes we get. So, And thank you guys for tuning in as well. And uh, uh, fingers crossed, I think we'll get partner because they take into account uh, like your other uh, like social media followings. So, I mean, Twitter, uh, I think will be very helpful. Uh, I didn't mention Jesse's podcast or mine, but okay. I'm gonna get that picture up on the screen right now. And you guys are gonna like this, I think. Okay, there we go. So let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys think is is the best one on there. Some are definitely better than others. Oh yeah, I can do a straw pull, can I? Okay, let me see if I can clear this out. Uh, keep in mind, I'm uh, I'm very stupid. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, Jesse Winrar as well. Oh, you, you can't go wrong with Toilet, so. Yeah, Twisted Prodigy and Future Prodigy, I'm pretty sure are two people. I saw a lot of Prodigies uh, playing Rocket League today. And then my name is just Stefan, uh, and, I, and I missed the ball a lot, so.
Okay, I'm, I'm making a, a straw poll. So, let's see if this works. I can hear Rob uh, practicing his stand-up in the other room, so. Simpsons fan one is good. That's a that's a very good one. Okay. Uh, Jesse doesn't know about any of these these game uh, names yet, but uh, I, th I think I think he'd like most of them. I really want uh, Jesse to get a gamer chair, like a proper sponsored gamer chair. Now my goal for twenty eighteen is uh, for Jesse to join Team Liquid. I'm not talking about his uh, bowel movements either. He, he has he has diarrhea a lot. Okay. All right, I uh, I'm creating the poll, so I'm going to see how I, if I can link this into the chat. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm spamming uh, the straw poll in the chat so you guys can go vote. I don't know if there's a way to like integrate it into the chat so you can see the results in there. Um, but uh, let's make this happen, guys. One step at a time here. This follow rate is brought to you by Talk. Yeah, can I get the pie chart up? I mean, yeah, I guess I could. Just give me a sec here. I'll do that. Let's see the results. Uh, Professor Hate Crime has taken uh, quite a big lead. Okay. So I think I can do this. I can go to OBS and I can uh, put this on the browser. So I'm going to go like this. Yeah, that's not obviously that's not the right one, but just give me a second here. Okay, so it's just gonna show, I guess, just the top three because uh, I'm dumb. Remember, let's remember this. But keep keep on voting, and and we'll watch it change. Okay. 
Yeah, the fart.com gamer I thought would do uh, a lot better. But yeah, Professor Toilet Crime would be a good uh, kind of compromise. A Jesse Ferrar Funko Pop. Um, oh my god. Yeah. I don't know if you can do custom Funko Pops, but. So uh, so keep voting. I'm gonna I'll post the, the thing in the chat again. You know, I'll I'll tweet it out and uh, and that should get some some traction that way. Uh, log off. You're you're welcome. I encourage you uh, to do that. Vote as many times as you want. Uh, Cutie Danny. I don't know. If, am I allowed to vote? I guess I'll vote. Um, I'm going with Jesse Winrar. I don't know how you couldn't. This is close though. Professor Hate Crime is is starting to pull away. It looks like. Uh, Kevin Ski, I think we'll know after Christmas. Um, it's at seven business days. We applied yesterday. So maybe like the 27th or 28th, possibly. I mean, they might just really like us and, and say yes immediately, but uh, we'll see. So currently in the lead, I mean, this is this is really quite close. Going back and forth between hate crime and Jesse Winrar. Yeah, if you want to ask Nate Silver what his prediction is, um, that would be great. I'm surprised that Professor Hate Crime is is uh, is winning, uh, but it, it's it's a very slim margin. A oh, slim margin would have been a good game right too. Fuck. I guess you're right. It is, it is a good name. I just thought um, I thought it'd be Jesse Winrar uh, in the lead, uh, and I was kind of hoping for like Twisted Prodigy. I could see Jesse as a. I just really want to see Jesse completely lean in to being a gamer named Twisted Prodigy.
Well, my idea for a superhero name at one point was uh, there's this guy uh, whose power was that he really just hates crime, and his name was uh, Captain Hate Crime. Um, but yeah, yeah, Gary, I think you're right. Hate crime could be flagged by gaming services, um, uh, and they might give us partner uh, faster. So that's a good point. How many battle tags did you get banned by uh, by Blizzard? What's the limit? Uh, Thurston Falco, I'm, I'm, he'd have to have like wraparound sunglasses. He'd have to have a gamer chair. Um, what else do gamers do? He'd have one of those, uh, sponsored gamer shirts. Um, but it would say like Nathan's hot dogs and, and Bud Light. Definitely he'd have to go uh, for the green screen. He'd have to, he'd, he'd still have the framed wood, but it would be on a green screen. Yeah, he would need one of those uh, gamer flat bills. <laughs> yeah, if Jesse just became that Dr. Disrespect guy, filled the void. Again, that is my goal for, for 2018, is uh, without him realizing it, slowly turn uh, Jesse Farrar into one of those uh, obnoxious gaming uh, guys. Yeah, Mike Bellacolava mode is is definitely happening. Um, yeah, Jesse dyeing his hair that would be good. I, that would be that would be tough. I'm gonna have to convince him to spend like six hundred dollars on a gamer chair, um, unless Bud Light Esports uh, throws down for one. A Jesse for our like body paint stream would do pretty well. Yeah, Jesse saying a catchphrase and doing a signature hand motion while thanking every sub would be great. I know uh, Crip, the Hearthstone guy, does uh, he does like a fist. I could get Jesse into fisting, I think. Yeah, you need like a mechanical keyboard uh, that lights up. Hey, Dudeski, thank you for subscribing to Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Tour Existence. Uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow uh, when I, I believe Jesse will be back. Yeah, toilet is, is just plummeting. Uh, right now, uh, I'll update you. I, I, don't, it's, I guess it is kind of showing up. Yeah, it's, it's so... Jesse Winrar uh, is winning with 28% of the vote, uh, followed by Professor Hate Crime. Uh, and it looks like Celibacy King uh, is in third, and then Toilet. And nobody has voted for Future Prodigy, even though I think that's the most gamer name of them all. I uh, know Jesse is, uh, I mentioned it right when the stream started, but uh, he's preparing his big apology for tomorrow. Um, uh, he is, uh, Gary, I don't know. I, apparently this happened with Jesse last time where he was getting kind of weird targeted ads too. I think it's because it's doing it through OBS. It's not, I don't have like a browser window open right now with that on it. I do use like moisturizer though. Uh, but yeah, Jesse's preparing his big apology for tomorrow because he ate um, uh, one of those, uh, silica packets you find in, uh, uh, like shoe boxes. Um, and, uh, and he, he feels terrible, uh, for doing that. So.
Yeah, Jesse becoming like a hype beast or a sneakerhead. There's a lot of things we could we could uh, work with in 2018. Uh, like I said, we are working on a rebrand right now, uh, where it will no longer be the Stefan and Jesse stream, and it won't be the Stefan, Jesse, and Rob stream either. Um, it'll be. I mean, we've we've got some ideas. Uh, we don't want to spoil it, uh, and and we're talking to uh, our friend Drill about designing, you know, like a logo or something. Uh, here, Dudeski, I will send you the link right now. And thank you to Jay Chiz uh, for subscribing for the fourth month in a row with Twitch Prime. And he says, can't believe you're getting targeted ads for the 1992 film, The Bodyguard. Uh, yeah, can we get a bodyguard mode going um, in the chat, please? And I'll link the, uh, the YouTube as well. So we do have uh, an actual YouTube channel now. With one video on it, and it's Rob doing, I think this is the first time Rob did his BAM impression. So uh, enjoy. I will link that video right now. Well, it linked it at 22 seconds for some reason, but you can just go back to the beginning. Uh, no, I am not quitting the stream. Uh, no one is quitting the stream. Uh, Rob is just being brought in officially, uh, and then it'll be it'll be like featuring Dog Boner once in a while. Uh, Ghost like Mike, absolutely. Uh, I believe uh, someone submitted that video to Jesse. Uh, I think it's in the description. Uh, Unit Luna, a friend of the stream. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, uh, they edited this together. Uh, the historic moment of Rob's first Man Margera impression. So. Yeah, we just want to kind of make things more, um, you know, interactive, I guess. So we'll have the YouTube channel. I think Rob wants to make a Facebook page. Uh, we're going to, you guys saw those stickers that Rob was working on, right? Uh, if not, I can, I can post those as well. Uh, yeah, Rob's stickers were fantastic. So I think I think those will be available uh, soon. Uh, Rob does have a kind heart. He's he's extremely nice. Uh, apparently, Rob, someone put a sticker of Rob that they made themselves up at like a Wendy's drive through in his hometown of Moorhead, Kentucky. Yeah, I, actually, QT Danny, I agree. Um, the Bill Margera uh, thing should be updated, uh, uploaded to Redbubble. Um, and I'm going to find that tweet right now because it's, it's unbelievable. Here are the stickers. I'll post those in the chat. Uh, yeah, the Celtics look really good. I haven't officially picked a team yet, uh, but they would be a lot of fun. <laughs> so there's the, the Stefan and Jesse stickers designed by Rob. If you haven't seen them, take a look. Um, let me get the Bill Margera.
A uh, quick update. Uh, Jesse Winrar has 59 votes. Professor Hate Crime has 51. Celibacy King has 37. Uh, and fourth place is Toilet with 21. The Fark.com Gamer only has eight votes. And it's second from the bottom. That's fucking bullshit. But, okay. Hey, Midwestern Pork, thank you for subscribing on the $5 sub. Welcome to the Tor Existence. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, the Bill Margera. If you guys didn't see that. It was amazing, uh, first of all. I will get that to you guys right now. Uh, also, the the highlight of last night's stream, or, or a couple nights ago, was was Parton already talking about the soap dispenser filled with uh, human feces. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a weekly thing where it's uh, the chat post of the week, and we'll have that up uh, framed uh, on the stream. Oh yeah, I should change the stream name, shouldn't I? What's it say? It says Stefan Stefan Literature Club and Torking Saturday. That's what it says for me. What should I change it to? I agree. The janitor definitely was right to fight the kid. Like, no question. Mm. I mean, people will make some fake posts, but uh, that'll be up to you guys to kind of uh let us know which one you think is real and which one you think is fake because i that one to me is very real I, I really do believe that one it was ethan who who put together the bill margera uh, and he should absolutely uh, capitalize off the popularity of this post i'm gonna link that in here Uh, let me go grab Rob as well. I'm going to see if he wants to come in and say hello. So I'll be right back. Uh, Rob is currently in the shower, I think. He's getting ready to go. Uh, but Oscar is here. I can grab Oscar. Hey. Oh, okay. She went under the bed. Uh, also, if you want to hear uh, Rob and I uh, on a podcast together, if you don't listen to Real Good Show, Rob came on Real Good Show this week, uh, and it was a lot of fun. So I'll link that in the chat as well. Yeah, definitely an Oscar emote uh, is, is for sure going to happen. Yeah, we are due for a shrill beep. If we could make that into a moat, that would be amazing, but I don't think we could. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys one right now. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, I hear Rob. He might be coming to say hello. The chat uh, wants to know how it's going, Rob. Good. You want to tell me jokes? No. Nah, I'm uh, fucking nerve wracked, man. No, you're gonna do fine. You did. You did very. You did very well last time with no preparation, and now you've prepared. Yeah. So. I was gonna tell a Roy Moore joke, but. That's uh That's a stream only joke. I yeah, think. that's just for you guys. Fuck, that would kill with the right audience. God damn it. Fucking LA. Everyone is saying hello Rob. They wanna know how you're feeling. Saying I see some go off Robs. They love the stickers too. The stickers are great. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um I was telling them that you're officially part of the stream title. Cool. Um yeah. but we're gonna we're working on kind of a rebrand. Yeah. We've got the YouTube channel, uh, maybe a Facebook page. Rob will be drinking some alcohol before. Oh, yeah, I need to do that right now. Or I need like seven of these. What is I think he's opening, he might be opening with a Star Wars joke, uh, which he told on like two or three streams ago. About the mass shooting at the at a Star Wars premiere, which was a good job. Uh, well, I think the Roy Moore joke is worse because it's it's like more explicit, uh, and in the Star Wars joke, no one actually dies. The joke is it's it's like a the joke is more Star Wars than mass shooting. Yeah. Whereas the Roy Moore joke, nobody dies in the Roy Moore joke. Nobody gets hurt. Well, in the uh, or the Star Wars yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. He means the Star Wars one. Yeah. A lot of people got hurt in the Roy Moore one. Uh, they yeah, want they want a can check. What are you drinking? I think Bud Light, baby. I think a Bud Light emote. Uh, is a definite possibility. Like we, we're gonna have like thirteen or fourteen emote slots to fill. So, uh, knock on wood again. If if we do uh, get partner, so if we do get partner, uh, then we'll have a stream to celebrate it, um, where we'll do like a big straw poll or some shit, and uh, you guys can help decide uh, exactly what um, the uh, the new emotes are going to be. Oh, this seems pretty good. Yeah, it'll be a long stream to celebrate. Well, we do have the straw poll for the, the gamer name right now. I don't know. I'll, I'll link it again. It's it's close. We're going to do first to uh, 100 votes. Professor Hate Crime has taken the lead. For what? The name? No, this is for Jesse's gamer name. Oh. So I've got Jesse Winrar, Professor Hate Crime, Celibacy King, Toilet, Dr. Gamer, Twisted, Dr. Gamer, that's I, it. I like Dr. Gamer too. Twisted Prodigy, because I just really want to see Jesse lean into being a gamer called Twisted Prodigy. Um, Minecraft Fuck, Torque Daddy 87, XX Gaming XX, The Fark.com Gamer, and Future Prodigy. Um, what ever happened to Fark.com? I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Wait, not Fark. I'm thinking of. Uh, Which one are you thinking of? Zug.com. Do you remember that? I have no I have no idea. Oh, man, what. That was huge back in. Middle school. Zug. Zug. Remember Zug? Uh, yeah, right, dude. Tips 33 bits and says, go off tonight, Rob. <sighs> Man. He will. Don't Fuck. worry. Hmm. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, shit. This is going to... Oh, Fuck. Damn it. 
Yeah, Dr. Gamer is uh, is up there for sure. I mean, Rob loves it. Um, I think that's probably the one that Jesse would choose. The Antifa Gamer would be good as well. Uh, Gary, I don't, you don't have to worry about that just yet. Maybe next year. Once he's got a few more shows uh, under his belt. Drink all these for the before we leave. Uh, can I have one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can, I'll grab a separate one. I don't have to grab one of these. You grab me a third one. Yeah. So you went. You were stone cold sober the last time. Yeah. I mean, three Bud Lights isn't really gonna do anything. Nah. But it'll get you the right level. I mean, I'll get some there too. Yeah. Oh yeah, Rob's on the. He's on the high chair. Am I? Am I uh, there? Will they disappear? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, JT60564 says, if you bomb, just take off your pants. I'm not afraid of bombing at all. That's kind of the nice thing about it's. It's very much a low-key open mic. Just like Rob is high-key thick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get a high chair Rob going. In the chat. As I was explaining to Stefan, I pretty you guys have seen Eight Mile, right? The third battle in Eight Mile, Eminem like disses himself, so his opponent has nothing to say. So when I got off stage last weekend, I was like, "Oh shit, what is? What are all these people going to think?" But as soon as I got off stage, I'm like, "What the fuck are any of you going to say that I haven't said even worse about myself in the last 29 years?" Yeah. Though I've pretty much be rabbited myself my entire life. Uh, QT Danny, I would say, like, it depends on the beer, obviously, but just like, let's say it's like Corona, uh, like three or four, and then I'll, I'll have like kind of a, a buzz going for sure. Uh, I mean, if it's like a stronger IPA, maybe two. I'm, uh, I'm, remember, I'm a forest twink, so they're not known for uh, their drinking. Rob Spaghetti. I draw a lot of inspiration from Avon. My nice stand up value. I haven't seen A Mile in a long. Is Cheddar Bob a character in A Mile? Yeah. Okay, so Tori Krug wants to know if that makes me Cheddar Bob. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, is that good? You're is Cheddar Bob the one who sleeps with Brittany Murphy? He's the only white friend. Oh, okay. Okay. So. And you're white, so you're from Cheddar Bob, so. No, no, uh. I'm Kai Pfeiffer. Uh, wink. Yeah. Sleep, so. I could, I could sleep with, uh, I could be Brittany Murphy. I, I think I could pull up Brittany Murphy. She's, uh, I can't believe she died. Wow. Yeah, of like mold or something? Something very weird. When she died, my, uh, I made my Facebook status, uh, of oh, shit, the Happy Feet victim claim, or the Happy Feet curse claims its first victim. And people got really mad about it. <laughs> Have there been any other victims since then? No. I don't think so. Yeah, let's get an RIP Brittany Murphy going in the chat. Just, just in case um, any any Twitch people are watching and thinking if they're on the fence about, should we give these guys partner? Well, uh, rest in peace, Brittany Murphy. I need to work on a Luann. She was Luann. Yeah, she was Luann. How the heck? Oh my god, little major thing. I'll do it, I'll get it. Yeah, no, that's that, that wasn't too bad. Fuck. Dude, how's this Star Wars joke gonna go over, man? Uh, poorly, is my guess. Is it really? Ah, no, I think you'll be fine. Fuck. Oh, yeah, where are we at on the on the vote here? Professor Hate Crime is starting to pull away with 82 votes. So why don't I uh, I'll bump that again on Twitter? We gotta leave in 20 minutes. Okay, perfect.
Let's see if I can make it so it automatically closes at... Uh... I don't know if I can... Okay, here we go. I guess there's no way to make it so it just stops. At, uh... Anyway, I'm gonna vote for Jesse Winrar. So first to 100, Professor Hay comes at 84. Okay, log off. That again, that's so believable. Stuff like that is so believable. I mean, to be fair, we believed the shack thing. But that does sound I guess that would be kind of funny if, if Junior died and was survived by a senior. Um, I don't think he's dead though. Who? Who's dead? Log off says Ken Griffey Jr. died, but I, I don't know if I believe that. Mm, I don't know. It's a, it's a big one. Oh, that's pretty good. And uh, Steve-O was probably the most believable one. And I don't think we were even talking about Jackass at that point either. All right, Professor Haycrime's at 88 votes. I think, I think this is un an unassailable lead, uh, up by 10. By the way, Jesse doesn't know anything about this, so. Hmm. Man, I can't drink anymore. This makes me sick now. Really? Yeah. It's been like 10 years drinking as much beer as possible and now. Beer's good. Let's get a let's get a beer is good going in the chat. Bobby Lee, there's another believable one too. Uh, yeah, Steve-O is alive, but uh, someone mentioned it on the stream. Someone tried to start a Steve-O death hoax, um, and that was quite believable. Yeah, because Adam uh, Adam posted a picture with him. It was him and Brandon, and they ran into Steve-O in like a marathon or something. Steve-O Steve was a clown college. An actual clown college. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Stephen Glover. Stephen and Chris McGlover. Oh, shit. I mean, uh, hey, if I'm in a sticker that said, uh, like, Rob's Rat, would you guys like that? With me on the Willard cover? Oh, yeah, right. I remember that. Right. That was that big rant the other yeah. day. Yeah. Or something along those lines. <clears throat> How many people are watching? Uh, like 60 something? 63. Oh, yeah. oh shit. My computer's running really slow right now, so I might not get all these attacks in. Oh. Are you, yeah, Tori Krug wants to know, are you an NBA guy now, too? No. Not really. You it. enjoyed the game. What game? Oh, yeah. Game. That was a good game. It was all right. It was not oh. guy. It looks like Professor Hate Crime just hit 100. Jesse Winrock came second. Syllabusy King uh, third. Torque Daddy 87 fourth. Fifth was Toilet. Sixth with Dr. Gamer, disappointing. Seventh, Minecraft fuck. Eighth, Twisted Prodigy. Ninth, the Fark.com Gamer. Tenth, XX Gaming XX. And a distant last, Future Prodigy. Uh, so Jesse's new gaming name is Professor Hate Crime. Uh, it's official. 
Thank you guys for voting. Uh, if you guys can tweet at Jesse uh, at Bronze Hammer and, and let him know uh, that uh, his new name is officially Professor Hate Crime. Let's go, start. One more feet. I'm watching the stars. Log off, I, I would love to, um, but we have, we, 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 democracy uh, in action. The people have spoken. They want Professor Hate Crime. I would love Jesse to be Twisted Prodigy. Maybe one of us could be Twisted Prodigy. Or Mike. I think Mike as Twisted Prodigy would be fantastic. My gamer name is uh, Mr. Harley Quinn. <laughs> I like the idea of some guy who is uh, number two, who believes... <laughs> Who romanticizes the Joker Harley Quinn relationship, but puts himself number two in that relationship? Uh, Spring Convert says, "Rob, I loved all those stickers you made, dude. Uh, they were great, and you made them very quickly too. You made four of them. Yeah, thank you. I think that'll be a big focus of the stream moving forward. 2018 is going to be the year of the stream. Did you guys see? The, look at this. Did I show you this? What somebody saw on the? Uh, oh yeah, I, I mentioned this to them. Look at the, uh, this. Yeah, look at this. this is weird. Um. Uh, back home in Moorhead, Kentucky, somebody saw this on the drive through menu of a cookout. Is it, John? Yeah, it says, uh, uh, Rob the Giant has a posse. Seven, four, five hundred twenty pounds. I have no idea who made this or who put it up. It's very weird. Don't put my face on the drive through menus if you're watching. Uh, you should. You absolutely should. Put one of the Go Off Rob stickers on one, by all means. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Don't I Don't mean. appropriate a Shepard Fairy uh, Obey poster with my face. Please. All right, Rob, I think we have time for one more game. Cool. Have you put your name on the list? Do you have to do it at the uh, show? She did for me. Okay. When are, you, when are you going up? I don't know. Okay. Hopefully early on. Oh yeah, I, told him the, me up early. I can't believe I'm doing this. I he's gonna kill it. We're having people over tonight, so he wants to go up a bit earlier, and uh, I think you're gonna be great. Let's get a let's get a good luck, Rob. Or, or you know what, even better, let's get a you're gonna kill it, Rob. That might be too wordy. Well, say nice things to Rob. Nah, that's that's cool. Call, tell me I'm not funny. That's what does it. <laughs> Kill Rob! Wow. Wow. Learn to use commas, dude. Uh, Zara Black, no, this is kind of like a Christmas party. So, have you guys ever played that game Werewolves? It's like Mafia, uh, but with werewolves. Oh, that's so fucking funny. So we're going to play that, but Rob has come up with a Christmas version of it. Yeah. Where um, <laughs> you play as elves... Um, and you're trying to find, uh, trying to unionize. you're trying to unionize and you're trying to, uh, find who the, the, uh, the scabs are, the yeah. union snitches are. There's a snitch and somebody gets to be Santa. He sees everyone when they're asleep. Um, yeah, haven't really worked on the rules to this, so I don't know if they'll work. Midwestern Pork, uh, who just subscribed, uh, this stream says, nice belt, Rob. Mm hmm oh, fuck. Oh my God. Oh my god, it's... No, you're gonna do, do great. And you're doing Cinema on Monday as well, right? What? Are we doing, you're doing the, the other one on Monday? Am I? Did you, didn't you say you were doing another open mic on Monday? Oh, uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, no. I think you should, but uh, there is another no, open mic not? option. Yeah, why not? You might as well just keep doing it. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm nervous about this comic joke. I, the comic joke is really funny. See, it's, I, I like the comic joke. I don't think I've worked on it enough to like know where the laughs come in. Right, but that's why you're doing yeah, an open mic. True. Rob has a joke about... Um, what would you say? Like, it's... 
It's about, can we tell it? You guys want to hear it? Yeah, they, I think they want to hear it. Okay. Oh. Rob broke a leg, but I'm not. I think you meant to say break a leg. Oh shit. Don't be a bitch. Oh. Yeah? You know that, you know what that does to me, man. <laughs> I got called a pussy, and that's why I went on stage the first time. It worked, though. Yeah, it worked. All right, so basically the joke is like, I'm not a big comic book guy, but I love comic book nerds. I love that analytical, argumentative passion they have. Speculative passion. And I just wish that subculture also existed for uh, like newspaper comics. And... Basically, I go into this whole thing where I'm like, just once, I want to hear, I want to be at a party and overhear this. Okay. Dude. No fucking way would Beetle Bailey win in a fight with Dilbert, man. Okay, first of all, Dilbert, yeah, doesn't have the military training that Beetle Bailey has. However... MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, all right? One of the most prestigious schools in the country. He has a master's degree in electrical engineering. Whoa, I gotta slow down on these beers. He has a master's degree in electrical engineering. You know what that means? A thorough and comprehensive understanding of electromagnetism. That means pulsed energy projectiles, electrolasers. Beetle Bailey is a private the lowest rank of military personnel. Kilo Company, 3rd Battalion, 9th Infantry Regiment. And who would put that pathetically limited access to military weaponry against Dilbert's Electrolaser, you fucking idiot? Oh, but what do I expect from the guy who thought Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties, was a welcome addition to the movie franchise? Something like that. That's good. There's something there, I think. We'll see. I don't know. I think it's I think it's very good. You're doing uh, I want to do the prison one again, but you know. G Gary brings up a good point. Uh, this is this is the perfect time to bring up a uh, pregnant Marmaduke in your act. Oh shit, yeah. What do you guys think? Should I tell us is that a stage joke? I think so. You got some you got some LOLs, you got some LMAOs, you got some go off robs. I think it's and it's something worth workshopping for sure. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, Double Dark Horse says flush it out a bit more, but I mean that is exactly what you're doing here. Uh, yep. Yeah, you okay? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> well, I don't drink much anymore and this is I have to now. I will always heed the wisdom of Doug Stanhope. You need drugs to write your jokes, cigarettes to have the patience to turn them into jokes, and alcohol to have the courage to tell them on stage. That's how you do stand up. Yeah, Gary says do the part where you take a big pull of beer and then burp in the middle. Oh yeah, I was gonna. I'm gonna say. Uh, I want to hear this at a party, dude. Yeah, you got the voice. <sighs> like that? Yeah. No fucking way. God damn it, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, Humble Tales, we, we discussed uh, Rob telling the, the came in a little behind joke, but he's already doing the Star Wars mass shooting joke, so um, he kind of figured. It's yeah. like one or the other, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, he's got to win over the crowd. And, and both of them only have a shelf life of this week. It's bullshit. I can't tell both of them. I, I would love... Because I bet I could whoop the crowd up by being like, so, Alabama's blue, or some bullshit. <laughs> and like, yeah! Tell a politics joke! <laughs> uh, well, uh, Roy, Moore, Roy Moore is in the news again. Uh, uh, he lost to Doug Jones by uh, just under 1%, which, you know, this, as, but I'm sure he'll be fine. This is a uh, this is uh, not the first time he's came up a little behind. 
<laughs> That's such a good fucking joke, man. God no. damn it. Why does it have to be so morbid? Fuck. Has anyone, uh, this is, this is a game question. Uh, did anyone get, uh, Enter the Gungeon on Switch? Because I've been playing it for the past couple days, uh, and it is legitimately the perfect, uh, Nintendo Switch game. The one I really want them to come up with on, uh, holy shit. Sorry. No, that's okay. That was impressive. Uh, on the Switch is Nuclear Throne, I think would be ideal. Um, oh, shit, we gotta leave soon. All right. Do you want to call a lift? As soon as you're done. Okay. I'm done. Oh. Spelunky would be good too. Yeah, Rob using a guitar, I could see that as well. My idea for uh, a bit that he could use is he just ha has a guitar up there on stage with him and never and plays never it. Plays it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be really funny. Yeah, Binding of Isaac is great too. I've got that on Switch as well. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna record this tonight, and we'll see what Rob thinks of it. Maybe you won't see this one necessarily, but you're gonna see Rob doing stand up soon, and uh, and that's a promise. Double Dark Horse, you should absolutely keep photoshopping Jesse. Uh, we both love it. Um, Doctor Dreezy, yeah, I, I had Gungeon on PS4 as well, and that's where I, I I really enjoyed it. But playing on Switch is fantastic. Uh, don't worry, I will I will take care of Rob. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for this this quick Saturday evening stream. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. In my evenings. So. Uh, let's get a, let's get a go off Rob uh, for for good luck. So I make you guys proud. Uh, he's gonna kill it, a hundred percent. Yeah, Rogue Legacy on Switch would be great. I heard some of that they were thinking of it. Uh, Jesse playing Persona would be great as well. Um, uh, yeah, and thank you again. Jesse's gamer name now, remember, is Professor Hate Crime. Uh, and that's thanks to you guys, uh, the viewers. So thank you very much. Um, enjoy your Saturdays. And we'll see you guys tomorrow uh, with Jesse. Uh, Krabopolis, yeah, I'm sorry. It was a short stream. It was only like an hour. Um, but we'll, we'll be back for a bit of a longer run tomorrow. Uh, and Jesse will be playing Fortnite again or, or you know, some... I, now that he's Professor Hate Crime, he can kind of play maybe Dota. Jesse playing Dota would be really funny. The SIGs in there. Uh, the SIGs are in there, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, have a good night, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Rob, you want to say bye? You want? Hey, peace out, everyone.